This tutorial will show you how to convert your dynamic tracks inside of any route using DB Tracks. The first thing we want to do is go to dbtracks.com and click on the Dynatracks manual. From there, we want to click on Set of Requirements. Make sure you have all these requirements downloaded. Most importantly, we want to have the Dynatracks program downloaded. If you get an error during the Dynatrax conversion, you can download this file and place it in your program folder. The last thing we'll need is the dbtrax profile for Dynatrax. Now with those files downloaded, simply open up the Dynatrax underscore v0.62 file. Next we want to run the 0.52 setup and install it through the default directory. Next, we want to go to where we installed Dynatrax. And drag in the Dynatrax underscore V0.62. Also drag in the Profiles folder. Next, open up the NR underscore DB01B. Drag that into the Profiles folder. Next, Let's create a shortcut from the V0.62 beta to our desktop. Now we want to open the Dynatrax underscore V0.62 shortcut. Be sure to open the version 0.62 shortcut and not the version 0.52 shortcut. Next select your route. Then in the package drop down select DB Tracks Basic. Then in the Track Profile drop-down, you'll notice that there's all kinds of options to choose from. For this particular instance, we're going to use the Q75DB3. You can think of the Q75 as a quality setting. There's also Q150, Q200, and Q50. Q50 being the lowest, and Q200 being the highest quality. It's been my experience that these settings don't really have much of a difference, so I usually go with the Q75. The same goes for DB4, DB5 tracks, DB30 tracks, or even US tracks. The quality settings are the same. I would do the same thing for each. Q75. In this case, we're working with DB3 tracks, so we're going to use the Q75 DB3. In the dynamic track status, you can see each world tile, how many sections of dynamic track there are. This is where you can select all, or just one tile at a time. So for instance, if you wanted to convert this particular world tile to Rusty Rails, you would select this tile, come over, find the DB30, Q75, and now it will convert that one world tile to Rusty Rails. For this tutorial, we're just going to simply convert every single piece of dynamic track to the DB3 track. The way we do this is we click Control A and this selects every piece of dynamic track in the route. You can also go to view select all and this will select all the dynamic track as well. Then down in the bottom left hand corner you'll see 678 in this case. That's how many pieces of dynamic track that your particular route has. At this point you click convert and once this is finished you've converted all the dynamic track on your route to DB tracks. And that's it. All the dynamic track has been converted to DB3 tracks. If you want to change your track back to its original dynamic track, just select all the track and click restore. And that's all there is to converting dynamic tracks to DB tracks. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to show you how to convert your DB tracks to particular tiles using different types of tracks like rusty rails, clean main lines, concrete ties. Be sure to check that out and we'll see you in the next video.